What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Pizza Maker 8000. Now, today I want to go through and I want to show you guys what a Kawhi Leonard build is going to look like. And if you guys want to build a Kawhi Leonard build, you want to copy these exact same steps. Now, unfortunately, if I misspelled it, I'm sorry I did not go to college and I'm kind of a dumbass. So, right here we go through the skill breakdown and what I think Kawhi Leonard would be. So, as you can see, you have the finishing, the shooting, the playmaking, and the defensive rebounding. So, I'm going the defensive rebounding route because he's a defensive player and this is the only skill breakdown that gives you more defense than anything because that's mostly what Kawhi is known for, his defense. So then we have the agility, the strength, and the vertical. I don't think Kawhi is very agile because he does he's not really a high flyer or nothing like that. So I'm going to go in the middle between all three because I don't think, you know what I'm saying, he's not too strong, he's not nothing, he's not nothing crazy. So now the first thing I want to do is I want to max out his perimeter defense. I want to max out his lateral quickness as well with the perimeter defense. So then I'm going to slide down and max out the steals as far as it can go. And same with the blocks. And now I'm going to slide up and get this ball handling. Put it right about 70. And this I'm going to max out. Bump it back down. I'll do that. One. Okay. And then we're going to go through the mid-range shot. So the way that this archetype system is set up, it's kind of hard for you to be a sharpshooter due to the fact that as you can see there's one two three four five different things that you can upgrade for finishing and there's one two three four five six seven eight for defensive slash rebounding and shooting only has one two three four which is so it's kind of hard you cannot make a pure playmaker because you can see there's only three so it's kind of hard to make a pure sharp which is kind of good they nerf pure sharps but it also hurts when you're trying to make a certain build for a certain player or to play a certain archetype and you have all these points that you use but you maxed out your cap so that's one thing that I think that this this little new build system kind of hurts you in a way but also it lets you express and not have just you can kind of do everything you can have a lockdown that can actually shoot I know in 2k19 lockdowns can shoot but now you can actually have one that rightfully so can shoot so we just spent all our skill points as you guys can see so this doesn't really matter his body shape I'm just gonna go define now his height I'm going to go 6'9 Okay, make him 6'9", and just trust me on this, you want to make him 6'9". And now for the weight, I'm not going to put his weight all the way down. I'm going to put him at 210, so he has some speed still, and he's not just a slow piece of shit. And now he can shoot, so I'm not going to max out his wingspan, and I'm not going to make it as small as it can go, because me doing that, I only get plus 2, and I lose all a lot of defense. So I'm going to put it right here in the middle at 83.9. And then... For his takeover, I'm going to go lockdown because that's what Kawhi Leonard is known for. He's a lockdown defender. I, yes, I'm done with that. Now, this is where it gets tricky when you get into the badges on and what exactly you want to do. So, as you can see, it's going to be compared to Jimmy Butler, Jason Tatum, and Julius Irving, who are all very good players and two-way players, basically. Jimmy, Jimmy Butler is a two-way player. Jason Tatum, not so much. And, yeah, exactly. So, sorry sorry about that. Um, I'm live streaming as I'm doing this. and I'm getting a message and stuff. So, now we're going to go in, I'm going to go straight into his defense, and I'm going to get his badges, which I think Kawhi Leonard deserves and should have. So I'm going to max out Pickpocket at Hall of Fame. I'm going to go over to Pogo Stick and Lockdown and make them both silver. And I'm going to go up and Lightning Reflex, which basically Quick Reflex is gold, Intimidator silver, Interceptor, bronze, Heart Crusher, I'm going to make that silver. Let's see, Rim Protector on silver. So I have no more upgrades left. I think this looks about right for a Kawhi Leonard type player. All these other badges, I know you see Tyler's Defender, but these are not needed. Next, we're going to go into the playmaking, which I'm going to give him Shot Creator. Because he had, let's not forget that shot he hit against uh, Philadelphia. All right, now we're going to go, let me see, Handles for Days. I'm only going to put on Bronze because I know he doesn't have no crazy handles. But he will not, unpluckable, he's not going to get the ball stripped. Quick first step, too, because he does have a quick little triple threat size up so for his shots i'm gonna go difficult shots on silver i'm gonna go cool volume shooter on silver as well along with tireless shooter and i'm gonna give him deep fades on bronze with my finishing badges because Kawhi can finish under the rim as everybody knows so let's go acrobat silver let's go contact finisher on gold and let's go relentless finisher on silver and yeah, I'll go protest. I'll go protest bronze, lob city finisher, silver, and slippery, slithery finisher, silver, fancy footwork, and doorstep. All right. So this is what the Kawhi Leonard build is gonna look like. If you guys 
enjoyed the video you want to see other builds comment them down below don't forget to subscribe comment like and rate i'm out i know my player is white but it's supposed to be a quiet build i'm sorry i'm out